At our homes, we use energy for heating during the winter, cooling during the summer, domestic usage of hot water, lighting, and ventilation to bring fresh air. We call these major parts of energy use in homes as the five major energy consumptions. In order to lower the energy consumption, we need to consider many energy saving techniques from the design standpoint. Low energy consuming houses designed with such consideration will be able to reduce the heating and cooling energy by 80 to 90 percent in comparison to a conventional house. Furthermore, by applying the renewable energy system to a house that is designed to have low energy consumption, any additional energy consumption can be supplied by energy that is produced by its own renewable energy system. Such housings that are able to passively save on energy consumption and actively produce energy is called an energy self-sufficient housing. Nevertheless, renewable energy sources such as solar PV and solar thermal system have its disadvantage depending on the sun. Now let's look at the basic principles of a net zero energy house. At homes, it's highly unlikely that it can be used during the process of renewable energy production. Hence, a trade-off method is used to offset the energy that is consumed from a grid through renewable energy production at home to create net zero energy. There are four definitions of net zero energy building. Net zero side energy, net zero source energy, net zero energy emissions, and net zero energy cost. A net zero site energy building generates the amount of energy which is provided by renewable energy sources that is equal to the amount of energy consumed annually. Energy is generated through five major energy by the building. A net zero source energy building generates the same amount of energy as is used annually, including the energy used to transport the energy to the building. These buildings must generate more electricity than the net zero site energy buildings. Don't you think that if we conserve and produce clean energy, our nation will be able to reduce costs of energy production? A net zero energy emission building produces at least as much emission free renewable energy as it uses from on-site and off-site emission or fossil fuel energy sources. If we save energy and produce energy through emission-free energy resources, we can help the Earth reduce carbon emission. Lastly, a net-zero energy cost building receives at least as much annual revenue from the utility for an on-site energy source that is exported to the grid as the amount paid for energy utility costs consumed over the year. Wouldn't net zero energy building capture lots of attention if consumers are able to witness and receive a return on their investments? Houses designed and built to fit the criteria of a net zero energy site, source, and emission building do not necessarily meet the criteria for net zero energy cost buildings. In order to meet the criteria for net zero energy cost buildings, one needs to go beyond the design and construction of the building. One needs to define how to operate the building in an optimal pattern, as well as the understanding of the market. Even if the building is not a net zero energy cost building, Net zero energy buildings can save up to 50 to 70 percent in energy utility cost. Furthermore, with conservation in auxiliary, more savings can be made. Currently, Myeongji University's Zero Energy Design Research Group, which was invested by MOLIT, the City of Seoul, and Noan District, along with the research and administrative management by KAIA is putting great efforts into realizing the great expectations for the outcome of the Zero Energy Housing Complex in 2016. It's time to make a better place for our children to live. We can take a small step by realizing Korea's dream of creating the first net zero housing complex.